Hello my dear friends, I am myself Dr. Rajesh Duba, I am a cardiologist and also your mentor for general medicine for exams like NEEP PG, JIPMAR, PGH Chandigarh, AIMS and as well as NIMHANS. Now welcome to our daily dose. So in the today's question we have a young girl, she is admitted with joint pains and butterfly rash and positive urine proteinuria. What will be the best test for her diagnosis? Anti-D is DNA antibody, anti-centromere antibody, antibodies to RNP, antibodies to tRNA synthetase. Now, if you see the question, like she's a female presenting with the joint pains, right? Presenting with the joint pains and as well as the butterfly rash and as well as the proteinuria right and that too a young girl so what do you think is the diagnosis yes what you have thought is correct so the diagnosis is it's an autoimmune disorder which is nothing but systemic lupus erythematosus right so now in systemic lupus erythematosus everyone should be aware of about the antibodies now you take the best screening test in SLE that will be your anti-nuclear antibody that is ANA Whereas, if the question is asked, what is the best specific antibody for SLE, then the answer will be anti-DSDNA and as well as anti-Smith. Whereas, if the question is asked, what is the best sensitive antibody, then the answer will be anti-nuclear antibody. Now, so among the options given that the individual is having the urine proteinuria, so that means she has developed lupus nephritis and remember SLE is a multi-system disorder. So what are the antibodies suggestive of the lupus nephritis? The antibodies suggestive of lupus nephritis are your anti-DS DNA. Then what about your anti-centromere antibody? Let me tell you anti-centromere antibody it is positive in case of the scleroderma that is limited scleroderma. Whereas in case of diffuse scleroderma, the antibody is anti-topoisomerase antibody. Whereas you take the third option, that is anti-ribosomal P antigen or the anti-ribosomal P antibodies. That is positive in case of the CNS lupus. And if you take your fourth option, that is antibody to tRNA synthetase. That is present in patients with the polymyositis with interstitial lung disease. Right? So, very important points in this particular question is the antibodies in SLE. Now, let me show you all those. You take the best or most sensitive marker as already we have discussed, that is anti-nuclear antibody. And specific, that is your anti-Smith and anti-DSDNA. Whereas, you take in case of drug-induced lupus, the answer will be anti-histone antibody. And remember, the most common drug which will cause SLE is your procainamide. You have multiple drugs which will cause SLE, but among all those, the drug which is most common for developing SLE is your procainamide. Whereas, antibodies which are responsible for thrombus formation and recurrent abortions in SLE, remember it as antiphospholipid antibody, that is the development of your APLA syndrome. Whereas CNS lupus or psychosis, just now we have discussed, that is anti-ribosomal P antibody. Whereas the antibody causing photosensitivity, that is your anti-Rho or SSA. And antibody for CNS lupus, then it is anti-neuronal antibody or anti-glutamate antibody. Right? So going back to our question. So, anti-DSDNA, that is for your lupus nephritis or for your SLE. Anti-centromere antibody, that is mainly for your limited scleroderma. Antibodies to RNP. Antibodies to RNP, remember, that is your, the, mainly remember, in case of antibodies to RNP, you have to remember it as psychosis rather than CNS lupus. Remember, for the CNS lupus, it is your anti-neuronal antibody or anti-glutamate antibody. Right? And following that, lastly, antibodies to tRNA synthetase. So that is your polymyositis. Right? So antibodies in SLE are very, very important question. So I hope you have understood this particular daily dose. 
So thank you very much and uh, do follow us on the daily dose wherein you will get you will get the daily updates.